Good morning, Falcons. This is Dr. Estrada Gallimore uh, coming to you uh, live from CV. And I'm here to talk to you about attendance and how it matters and why it matters. So you're going to be hearing from your administration all this week and next week about the things that we need of you and we want you to be able to value here while you're attending CB. Here are the attendance policies and procedures that I wanna to talk to you about today as a school and a community. We need your help. We need you to make sure that you're in class on time every day, every class, and you stay in class in the entire time. You don't want to be considered truant, which means you're out of class without permission. So we check as an administration team, we check everybody's attendance everybody in the entire school for the previous week and then if we need to we can check in we check for tardies we check for lates we check for unexcused absences and absences because we want to make sure that you're okay and we're going to check to see if you need any help so first tardies any students with tardies or lates totaling more than five in one week so six and six or more will result in an automatic saturday school it's an automatic uh ats which is alternatives to suspension. All absences must be excused by a parent, guardian, or caregiver within three days or the absence will become a truancy. If you have more than more truancies in a semester than is advisable, which you wanna to try to keep the number low or zero preferred because we always wanna know that everybody knows where you are at any given time. You will be contacted by your administrator to have a meeting with them and possibly your counselor about placing the student on an attendance contract. And that meeting is called the School Attendance Review Team, or SART. So that is your first warning that you have too many unexcused absences and you've got to make sure that you are in class on time every day. And if you are out of class, you have an excuse note. If the attendance continues to be an issue, there are more consequences that also will come from the district. So for all of you, this link, uh, this QR code, if you want to pause this, this QR code links to the student handbook, the current one that has all of the rules that I'm talking about. And there's also a link to this on the CVHS website. Also, the current bell schedules for this year are at this link and this QR code. So you can pause it here and scan that, put it in your phone so you have all of the bell schedules to help you keep on time. We're still on block schedule A, B days and it'll tell you where we're supposed to be. So I would get here, if you can, by 8.15 every day, see your friends, hang out in the quad until the first bell and you'll always be on time. Here at CV, we want to talk to you about a new initiative that's coming up through us through the district called Attendance Matters. On time, consistent attendance every day for every class at school is crucial to your success. Research actually shows us that any habits you build now during your high school years will have an effect and possibly stay with you for the rest of your life. So it's what we're trying to say, it's important to create the habit of punctuality and timeliness. It can make all the difference of your school experience here at CVS, CVHS and for the rest of your life. Here's some, so I've talked to you about the consequences. Now let's talk about some strategies that will help you be on time. Set an alarm clock. If you limit your screen time at night and maybe off by nine and, and not in your bedroom, but charging in a different room and have an old fashioned alarm clock, it'll help you get up a bed out of time on time. And I have to do this too. I have to put my phone in another room because I'll be tempted to look at it. Go to bed 10 minutes earlier and get up 10 minutes earlier. If you start to do that, you'd be amazed what 10 minutes would do for you in the morning. Uh, pick out your clothes and shower or bathe the night before so you can just get out of bed, get dressed, and uh, get moving. Uh, you can prepare your lunch and pack your backpack the night before. I do that also so I have it so I'm up and ready to go because I have a clearer mind than when I'm bleary eyed and start waking up in the morning. You can review your, your own attendance portal uh, and, and if there's an issue or something you need to clear up, you'll be able to let bring it to our attention first. So it's uh, you can access this beginning the first day of school on their parent and student portal. And it's really important to think, I'm gonna come to school every day on time for every class and I'm gonna attend the full day. Here's some other things to help with success. Be on time, go to all your classes and finish all your homework. Come to school prepared, rested and ready to learn. Do work before watching TV, play, 
playing video games or chatting on the internet. This includes TikTok because it's it draws you in and pulls your attention away from things that are important. If you put your phone screen down for a while and really focus, you can get done faster. Ask help for schoolwork. We have a world language uh, help center. We also have tutoring available. You can access that. Uh, make sure you ask for missed work and assignments rather than waiting for the teacher to ask you because you're a partner in, in your learning. So we need to make sure that you're ready to do that. Also, we suggest you take part in school activities. There's gonna be a carnival very soon coming up for the entire school. There will be football games, away games, home games, uh, clubs, ASB, um, any number of school and extracurricular activities, including sports and visual and performing arts. The marching band is also in season right now, their competitive season and the color guard will be in the fall as well as uh, winter and fall sports that you'd want to be able to do that. So team sports can actually motivate you to be on time and help you keep your grades up. If you need any help, you can talk to a counselor, teacher, or parent if you need help or guidance. And you can also talk to an assistant principal with there to help and review your own grades and discuss your goals. Make sure that you are talking about your goals because that's one way to make it happen. Regular attendance is associated with better learning and increased self-esteem. If you stay in school, get to diploma, you'll double your chances of getting a well-paying job. That means your high school diploma. If you stay in school, you're less likely to involve and get in things you shouldn't be involved in. And if you stay in school, you won't run the risk of being prosecuted by the juvenile court or the district attorney for truancy, which is those other consequences that I was talking about. Every day you're in school, you'll raise your chances to uh, score well on tests, could lead to better opportunities for college admissions and scholarships. And did you know that high school graduates earn more than twice as much as high school uh, dropouts or people who don't finish? And also, if you want to keep going, college graduates earn $336 more per week than high school graduates. That's just at the beginning. So things to think about. Here are our links to all our uh, uh, homepage and social media sites. Uh, I see a lot of you on Instagram. Please keep following us. Please have your parents follow us. We do have a Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok accounts, which things show up on those accounts as well. Also, it's going to be a great year, and it is great to be a Falcon. Take care, Falcons. Thank you for your attention today. Bye-bye.